Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to show you how to use HyperMesh software for a beginner's level. And Niranjan, when you open the software, you can see it's asking a solver to save. Right now, I'm selecting ANSYS as the solver for my analysis. Say OK. If you are not getting the dialog box, you can go to preference, click on user profile and select the solver. And next step is you need to import the geometry. Click on import or solver. And the first option is to import the mesh file itself. Uh, for example, if you have done some partial meshing, maybe some, day, some other day and you need to continue today. You can select the first option and the second option is to select the solver itself it may be from ANSYS or Abacus and the third option to import the geometry I already created a file I am importing it so this is the geometry so when you open the geometry first you check whether it is a solid object or surface how to check that? Go to tools, click on count, display. Now we can see solid is 1. It's a 3D object. Next step is to check the dimension of an object. How to check that means you can click on F4 on the keyboard. That is a shortcut key to measure the distance of an object. Before that, I'll create a node. Go to nodes under geometry. The first option is XYZ coordinates. Suppose you need to create a node along the coordinate. So let's say default now, right now it is X20, Y20. I click on create. Yeah, it's already created. I just change the dimension of X to let's say 10 mm. Create. I got the two nodes. Next option is to select the nodes on the geometry itself. I select somewhere here, create. I can create wherever the points are there. Next option, we can create the nodes with the arc center. I selected a arc here so that I got a node at the radius of the arc. Next option, we can create a nodes along the right line. Select the line and number of nodes required, I kept as 3. If you want, you can change it. Create. I created lines along the, sorry, nodes along the lines. I wanted to measure the distance of the object. I am creating nodes along the geometry. here also along the arc I created yeah. next option is intersection you need to create a node in between the nodes for example I select this node and second node and I want only one node in between create it I repeat select the node create you can create the node along the between the nodes and the last option is you can create a node between the intersection of a lines I select the lines I select this particular line and another along another axis create See, I created a node this is about nodes and the next option is line you can draw a line by user defined. I'll select the nodes, create. I got a right line. Next one, drag along vector. You can create a nodes along particular axis. So I'll select the node and I give a distance as 10 and it is along Z axis. Let's say drag plus. Now you can see it went inside 
I have just rejected drag minus. You can see here I created a line there. Similarly, I change it to y axis along this particular node drag. You can see I created a node line along the x axis, sorry, z and y axis. Next, you want to draw a radius. Let's say the radius is 30, I will change it to 20 mm. And if you know the angle, I will put it as 360 degree. So, with respect to, I am drawing with respect to y x plane. You can see this profile is surface is along y x plane. I need to select the perpendicular. The perpendicular is z. So, I will select the node list. This is my node center. Create. I created a circle. Next option is full circle. The previous one we can able to change the angle of circle or full circle. Here we can create a full circle. I change the radius to 30 mm and the node list I will select the center create. I created a one more line. Perfect. So next option I will show you the offset how to create an offset. Select the lines okay. and right now I give the offset distance as 3, I will change it to 5, click on offset minus. Now you can see I created an offset. Okay. And now I need to measure the distance of this object. How to measure it? Click on F4 two nodes method, select the nodes, now you can see along x axis it is 252.192, refresh, this particular option is to refresh, again I select along uh, another axis, the distance is along y axis minus 131, now I need to know what is the distance along z axis, you can see the distance is 40 mm along z axis. Uh, shortcut key in the mouse, you can press control and mouse left key. This is for rotation. And again control and scroll in scroll out for zoom in and zoom out. For move control and mouse right key, you can move the object. This is with respect to the mouse shortcut key. 